Many essential nutrients for human consumption are obtained from crops and vegetables that we grow. Oil is a main ingredient in human nutrition, and one of the important sources in our diet is a vegetable oil like canola oil. Brush canapus, an oil seed crop species, is represented by two related crops, canola and rapeseed. Canola is grown for extracting edible vegetable oil, known as canola oil. Due to its low level of saturated fat and high oleic acid level, it is considered a healthy oil to consumers. In addition, after oil extraction, deferred canola meal is one of the most widely used protein sources to feed livestock and poultry. Significant effort have made it possible to develop current cultivars that contain minimal levels of glucosinolates, the unfavorable compounds in deferred meals from canola and rapeseed seeds to feed animals. Rapeseed, high in elucic acid, a very long chain fatty acid, is known for producing industrial oils, primarily used for lubricant, plastic additives, and hydraulic fluids. Both canola and rapeseed can be applicable in producing biodiesel and bioplastics and many other industrially important materials, enabling them more environmentally friendly as they have the potential to replace the use of petroleum-based industries and manufacturing in many ways. Also, without a doubt, canola and rapeseed blooms offer excellent food sources to pollinators such as bumblebees and honeybees when there are not enough flowers available in early spring. For these reasons, the acreage of canola and rapeseed production has been expanding in the United States. However, over 80% of canola products are still imported in the forms of the canola oil and meal to meet domestic demand. Therefore, there have been efforts to expand the acreage and increase production of canola and rapeseed in the regions including the Southeast. The main challenge of canola and rapeseed production in South Carolina is the lack of fundamental study to identify regionally adapted germplasms. It is important to develop germplasms that produce quality and quantity of oil and withstand environmentally constraints such as disease. Black leg and scrotinia stem rot are two major diseases that affect canola and rapeseed production widely. Scrotinia stem rot or white mold has a broad host range, including broadleaf crops and vegetables that are widely grown in this region. It is important to minimize losses from these diseases through appropriate management and crop rotations, as well as the development of cultivars resilient to disease. Isolation of fungal species responsible to this disease can help screen and develop canola and rapeseed cultivars that grow and produce in a more profitable way in this region. Preliminary study shows that canola and rapeseed can grow well during the winter season in the PD region when locally adapted cultivars are timely planted in conjunction with good management practices. Continuous research efforts should provide beneficial alternative options of winter oil crop production that ultimately lead to innovative future in the agronomic and industrial businesses of South Carolina and the U.S.